It's stars in their eyes. Please welcome your host, Matthew Perry. to stars in their eyes, opening the doors on a world of talent. And in that world tonight are the ABBA of the new millennium, a hunk whose haircut made headlines, the embodiment of rock and roll, a new face from the States, and a singer-songwriter for freedom. And as those 80s icons Bross once said, when will I, will I be famous? <laughs> the answer in their case was two consecutive Thursdays in 1988. <laughs> but for our star guests, the answer is right now. Fame's the name of the game, and the game starts here for star guest number one. My name is Jenny Ormondroid. I'm 24 years old, and I'm currently living in Ipswich. I'm currently studying for a degree in early childhood studies. For part of my course, I'm, I'm doing art and design, and I, I love painting. And as well as my course, I paint in my spare time. And as Suffolk is such a beautiful place, I go out and uh, just look at the scenery, look around and find somewhere to do a really nice painting. People describe me as being laid back a bit silly, a good laugh and a happy person and I think they're probably right. I've got two sisters, Hannah who's older than me and then Louise who's quite a lot younger than me but we really get on, you know, we're really good friends and I like it like that. I've watched Stars in Their Eyes for years now and contestants say, you know, that they have a really brilliant time and I thought oh, I'd really like to have a go at that. So I'm sure that, you know, we're going to have a really good laugh. Putting her talents to a bigger picture, here's Jenny Ormondroy. <laughs> now, the person that you're going to be tonight has already appeared on this stage, naturally, yeah. as somebody else. And she left you a note, didn't she? Yes, yeah, she did. Because there's two blondes in her band, so that people will tell the difference between them. She told me that I should wrinkle my nose up like this. So, and then everybody would know who you were. Yeah, yeah. Well, we should lock out for that, wouldn't we? <laughs> I'm sure that's given it away, hasn't it? <laughs> if it hasn't given it away, give us some clues. Yeah, well, she started off her career in an all-girl band called TSD. Mm -hmm. And then she joined her current band in 1996. Their first hit was based on the dance craze of the time, line dancing. And they're still really well known today for their dance routines as well as their songs. Tell us who you're going to be, Jenny. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Claire Richards from Step. Claire Richards from Step! A step in the right direction tonight. Singing line, Jenny Ormond joined in. Claire Richards! Nothing would have believed a 
Well, they do say that imitation is the finest form of flattery. And Claire Richards was thrilled that you were coming on the show to do this, yeah. you know. She really was. Yeah, nice, why? Nice. She said, because you really know you've made it when somebody comes on this show to be there. Yeah. You, you loved it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's good. Good for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Ormondroyd as Claire Richards. Well done. You know, pop stars run the risk of obsessive fans. Apparently, there's a blonde icon who gets a bunch of roses every day from one of her fans. They say it costs him £600 a month. That's ridiculous. It's more like a grand. I've still got the receipts. <laughs> Here comes a heartthrob with plenty of obsessive fans, and getting us all obsessed is star guest number two. My name's Ian Higgins. I'm 26 years old, and I'm from Warwickshire. My job's in data collection. I do that for a local authority. My job entails changing reference points of street lighting columns and just update old maps. In my spare time, I um, enjoy playing tennis on the weekends and um, helping my parents out on their fishery business. Normally we were getting quite a few carp out here, but they all seem fed up today and um, don't want to come out for any food. This is what we're here for, just to get through the island of any line, so that um, if any birds come up, they're not going to get tangled up in it and get caught up. I think this fisherman went home without any line. Definitely looking forward to getting these stars in the eyes. Coming for a little bit of stick. That's only off some people. Well, hopefully everything's going to be OK on the night. The song I'm going to do tonight is quite difficult, and the person who sings it's got a very distinctive voice. So I'm just hoping that my voice holds out. And holding out for a musical hero, here's Ian Higgins! <laughs> you never made any attempt to be a singer until your early 20s. Tell me why. That's right. Um, well, my dad's very musical. He's been in a band more well, since the 60s. And, um, one day, I actually asked his advice about whether I should get into a band singing or not. And he said, um, son, don't take this the wrong way. You can't actually sing a note. <laughs> oh, <d> <laughs> I know. He hates that story, <laughs> doesn't he? So tell me a bit about this person that you're going to be. Well, he was born in New Jersey. He turned down the lead role in Footloose to concentrate on his music career. Since then, he's sold 75 million records with his band named after his surname. OK, and tell us who you're going to be tonight. So tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi! <laughs> going out in a blaze of glory tonight, singing live, Ian Higgins is John Bon Jovi!
you've just proved something here tonight because it's not about what anybody else says whether you can sing a note or not it's believing in yourself it's knowing that you can do it and coming out here and proving them wrong and you did and do you think your mates are going to give you a stick yeah probably <laughs> Than I do about that wig, but it does suit you. It suits him actually, doesn't it? You look rather good in that. You are excellent, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Higgins as John Bon Jovi. All right, this is our next star guest, O Naturel. He's just minutes away from becoming the godfather of rock and roll. If you want the king of a rock dynasty, then that's the man who'll be trying on his crown in just a couple of minutes. Hurry back, missing you already. <laughs> to stars in their eyes, now a legend who stepped through those doors many times and in many guises. This star's level of fame and success makes Chuck Berry look like Nick Berry. So no more clues. Take a look at the face behind the voice with star guest number three. I'm Stuart Duff. I'm 37. I'm from the Newton of Falkland in the Kingdom of Fife. The uh, fashion is actually jumping onto the motorbike and heading down the coast or up through the countryside. I think being on the motorbike, it's just been open air. It's more exhilarating than anything you could actually mention. Up until about three years ago, I used to be a professional cyclist. My father started the sport. He was a Scottish champion. My older brother was a Scottish champion. And up until I finished, I was a Scottish champion as well. I've been married to Alison for 12 years. I actually went away and got married without anybody knowing. The people were very, very shocked because uh, we'd only been going out for a very short time. We've got two children, um, a boy, Clinton, He's nine going on ten. A little girl, Samantha, she's just past three. The family and friends have been great. They've been trying for years to try and get me to sing, so I've, I've plucked up enough courage to go and do it. I'm looking forward to it, actually. And all roads lead to those doors for Stuart Duff. <laughs> now we've seen the leathers, the motorbikes, these are things that you share with the person that you're going to be tonight, but you have other things in common. Food. 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 Indeed. You have some strange eating habits? Yes, uh, slightly. How can you do that? You never cook. Does he ever cook, Alison? Never. How many times have you cooked in your household? Twice. <laughs> and how did you get on? Not very well. Really? What, did you cook? Something complicated? Um, I cooked a pizza once. Pizza? That's really complicated. How could you get that wrong? Um, instructions were left, removed from the box, yes. into the oven, yes. set to the mark. Well done. Done this. Very good. Went away, made a phone call. Yeah. Phone call went on for a while. Yeah. Started to smell something. Yeah. Went to the kitchen, smoke coming out the oven door. Yeah. Um, opened the oven door, forgot to remove the cling film wrapper from the pizza. <laughs> It's an easy mistake. <laughs> that is, all that story is actually a giant clue to the person that Stuart's going to be tonight, because I'm sure this man actually did the same on more than one occasion. Now, the person that you're going to be doesn't usually come through those doors on a normal show. He's usually here for special occasions. Without giving the game away, give me a few clues about the person you're going to be. Well, Matthew, he was made an honorary FBI agent by Richard Nixon. Yeah. His entourage all wore gold rings with TCB on them, which meant taking care of business. Tell me about his record sales. He was the biggest soul singing artist with the most selling records ever. Yes, that is true. Tell us who you're going to be tonight. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley! Long live the king! As tonight, singing live, Stuart Duff is Elvis Presley! Do you miss me tonight? Are 
Thank you very much. <laughs> that is extraordinary. It's an extraordinary like it's even more ex extraordinary, considering you practically had to be dragged on the stage tonight. If it wasn't for his wife, Alison, this is true, Alison, isn't it? He'd recorded a few songs on the tape, threw it in a drawer, and Alison nicked the tape and sent it in to us. And if it hadn't have been for that, we would never have seen it. Is that true, isn't it? That's true, yeah. 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 You should do this more often, you know. It's fabulous. You even do the curly lip thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Elvis comeback special. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stuart Duff as Elvis Presley! <laughs> In 1963, Elvis got to number 14 when he asked his fans to kiss me quick. In 1999, this next star made number four when she was after a swift snog. So pucker up, buttercups, for star guest number four. My name's Lisa Hewson and I'm from Hull in East Yorkshire. I'm a gym instructor, so I spend a lot of my time in tracksuit bottoms with trainers. So in my spare time, I love to go shopping with my best friend, Louise. I've always been a bit of a show-off and I was in an American-style marching band as a member of the dance section where we basically went onto a big field, competed against other bands, and I had like a big flag in my hands, and there was a few of us all dancing around. When I used to watch Stars in the Rise, I used to watch hoping, you know, sort of dreaming that I could get on the show, wondering if I'd ever get the chance. And then when I came across the artist that I sounded like, I knew this was my chance for 10 minutes of fame. I got the call on my mobile on the way home from work, and I got out of the car, screamed up to the house, and told my mum and dad, and my mum decided to cry about it like she always does when she gets very sentimental. On the night of the performance, I think I'm going to be really nervous, but I've just got to basically say to myself, just get on with it, this is your chance to show everybody what you're capable of, and I'll just go for it. And here with a small change for the doors is Lisa Hewson! <laughs> Hello, 
How did you find the voice of the person that you're going to be tonight? I was listening to the Dawson Creek soundtrack and there's a singer on there and I was singing along and I thought, this is the song. That's the one for you, but even then you still weren't quite confident, were you? That's right, before I had my first audition I was hypnotised to relax me a little bit more. That's fantastic, that's a great tip that, and it obviously did work, and Dawson's Creek is a big clue to this person, so tell me a little bit more. The song also featured on the soundtrack to She's All That. It was played at the marriage of Prince Edwards and Sir Faris Jones, and it was also the most played song on the radio of 99. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Lisa. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Lee Nash of Sixpence None the Richer. Lee Nash of Sixpence None the Richer! Will it be Lucky Lips uh, tonight? Singing live, Lisa Houston is Lee Nash! That is fantastic. It's so close as well. But what I can't understand is, you, you got yourself hypnotised for the first audition, mm -hmm. and then you didn't hypnotise yourself for tonight. Why not? He's on holiday at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need it, did you? No. No, of course you didn't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Houston as Lee Nash! One more star to come and another audience vote to cast before the home time bell rings on tonight's show. But will our next star guest be going home or staying on? She's a nursery nurse who's going to give us a lesson in acoustic guitar. We'll meet her and her musical alter ego in just a few minutes. Take care. Uh, lots of care. <laughs> The stars in their eyes. All tonight's stars owe part of their success to the power of TV. 
Elvis's big break came from one TV appearance and he went on to change the world of music. Our next star's first TV appearance changed the world. And with a TV break to change herself, it's star guest number five. My name's Denise Davidson. I'm 23 years old. I live in Camberwell, South East London. I work at St. Stephen's School in Stockwell and I'm a nursery nurse. I've been working as a nursery nurse in this school for about a year and a half and my duties are very varied, roles from planning to taking part in tasks and assessing children and definitely a lot of contact with the parents. I want you to roll your heads around. The kids I work with in reception class are kind of um, quirky. They, they're brilliant, they're really affectionate and I'm always glad for the hugs that they give me. My friends are really pleased with me being on Stars in Your Eyes because they realise, oh, you know, I know that girl on TV. And um, they're really chuffed about it. And um, they, just, they just can't wait. That makes several million of us, so please welcome Denise Davidson! <laughs> You've sung all your life, haven't you, since you were little, and you always had a special place where you sang. Yeah, um, I used to sing in the toilet downstairs in my house, and um, it's only because I had no confidence, and that was up until about two years ago. Yeah, and up until two years ago, yeah. and in two years you've managed to get yourself here. You must have done some preparation. No, it's just that I like to actually sing to release stress, especially working with kids and everything. Oh, so this is a form of stress relief to you, is it? <laughs> oh. Well, you really love this person that you're going to be tonight, so yeah. tell me a bit about her. Well, she was born in Ohio in 1964, and in 1988, she was a big success at a Nelson Mandela concert. She oh. also used to sing in the university she was at, and Boyzone had a huge success with one of her hits, which is the one I'm going to sing tonight. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Denise. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Tracy Chapman. Tracy Chapman! It's another new beginning of tonight, singing live, Denise Davidson is...
Oh. Out of the toilet, into the frying pan, and straight into the fire there. You're a brave girl. How do you feel? <laughs> you know, actually, Boyzone did a great version of that, but the original is the best. And you have the voice of the original. Well done, Nadine. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Denise Davidson as Tracy Chapman. <laughs> Is five voices in the hands of tonight's 250 judges. So, studio audience, cast your votes now. And while they're making their choice, let's see what puts stars in their eyes. First, Jenny Ormondroyd took one giant step as Claire Richards. Kept the faith as John Bon Jovi. It's my life, and yeah, it's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. I just wanna live when I'm alive. Stuart Duff was on his own some tonight as Elvis Presley. Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Sixpence wasn't the only change for Lisa Houston as Lee Nash. Lift your open hand, strike up the band to make the fireflies dance, silver moon sparkling. So kiss me. And Denise Davidson paid another tribute to Tracy Chapman. Baby. have a winner. Is it Claire Richards, John Bon Jovi, Elvis Presley, Lee Nash, or Tracy Chapman? And the winner is Elvis Presley! Fantastic. Would you know why? Because you have no idea how good you are, have you? No. No. <laughs> this, honestly, you just think you're singing an Elvis song. Yeah. Everybody thinks you are Elvis. <laughs> and that's why you're in the live grand final now. And for years, your family have been trying to get you to come out here and show us this voice. Yeah. Well done, Alison. Thanks for getting him here. <laughs> That vote's tougher than a general election because we have five equal candidates. But tonight, the party's on for Elvis Presley. And this is who he'll be partying with. Our first winner, Justine Riddick, as the new queen of clubs, Anastasia. Mike Powell as 60s crooner, Scott Walker. Charlotte Grimes as Catatonia's, Keris Matthews. Cecil Foster as soul boy, Luther Van Dross. Kevin Keeler as 70s pop idol, David Cassidy. Gary Bailey as the man of the millennium, Robbie Williams. Claudette Nelson as dance diva, Heather Small. And last week's champion, Dave O'Toole, as the Mancunian candidate, Noel Gallagher. We're back next week for five more stars in our eyes. Till then, here's a day and a night in the life of Stuart Duff as Elvis Presley. Good night. <laughs>
got the voice we've got the stage for details on how you could be walking through those famous doors on the next series of stars in their eyes phone 0870 600 1020 are you lonesome tonight is your heart filled with pain shall i come back again Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? It starts in their eyes. Please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. That was just seven days ago, but we've had a bit of a spring clean of the good old studio. In fact, more than a spring clean. Have a look at this. Yes, we've been busier than busy beavers at a busy beaver dumb building competition, and there have been many changes, but one thing remains the same. Tonight, you're going to see, hear, and vote on ten fantastic live grand finalists. Thanks, Alan. So let's have some lights. Let's hear the music. See the audience. And the dancers. The music's live, and most importantly, the voices are live. All that remains in the jigsaw is you and your votes. So this is it, the live grand final, Stars in the Rise 2002. Good luck, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Kelly. to the Stars of the Rise Live Grand Final 2002, the most glamorous and exciting date on TV's musical calendar. Tonight, you'll hear ten fantastic pop sound alikes live. Then you and you alone get interactive and choose a champion. This is our new stage. A bit... <laughs> Go ahead, folks. Just like Dr. Evil's Fortress of Fear, redesigned by Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen with big screens so we can see more of me. <laughs> yes, lovely. 
On ITV1 tonight, we've already seen one great live gig from the new pop idols, and if they last, I have no doubt they'll be represented here on this very stage very soon, and our makeover team have already been practicing, because tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Gareth Gates. <laughs> Gel in my eyes! Simon Cowell! <laughs> Turn on my thighs! And, of course, Rick Waller! <laughs> Meat in my pies! Yes! Matthew sings Pop Idols, Sing Swing, available now in all good bargain bins, just 75p. This is the battle of the real Pop Idols. 50 star guests have been whittled down to 10 star finalists, who tonight will be singing for your votes. Who will be victorious? Well, that's down to you, your phones and your fingers. The Brit Awards have one lifetime achiever. We've got 10 because singing live in front of millions really is the achievement of a lifetime. So let's put those doors to work. The last ten weeks have flown by since show one, when our studio audience voted for our first live grand finalist, Liverpool club singer Justine Riddick. She launched this series in a blaze of publicity, and the cameras rolled again that night for star finalist number one. This is my good luck doll, Vicky. As you can see, a couple of months ago, my mum changed her into me, hence the curly hair. But tonight, I think she's going to be Anastasia. Tonight, singing live, Justine Riddick is Anastasia! Seeing myself on television for the first time was the most exhilarating feeling I've ever got. It was more nerve-wracking than actually being in the studio. Tears welled up in my eyes. And the winner is... Anastasia! I think all of my friends and family have really enjoyed being here, and I'm sure the wine will be flowing well into the night. It's just an honor to be here, and she's great, and I wish her the best. She deserves to be number one. She's worked very, very hard for it. She deserves it. Thank you so much. What do you think? For many years, I've opened up all the TV magazines and newspapers and looked at other singers that have made it famous, and I've looked every time and thought, oh, I wish that was me. And I can honestly say this week, it has been me. Fame is the name of the game, but before she kicks off the show, here's a surprise message from someone Justine's known all her life, her mum. Before you go through the smoke, I just wanted to tell you how much I love you and how proud I am of you. Remember, Justine, this is just the beginning, and as they say in show business world, break a leg. Careful through the smoke, then, as tonight, singing live once again, Justine Riddock is Anastasia! <laughs> Baby, come on, claim that love, yeah, never let me be. I should have known, cause you want nothing real. Come on, be a man about it, you and I. I ain't got no more tears to cry, and I can't take this no more. You know I got.
Oh, I cannot think of anybody better than you to start the show, you know. Oh, thank you. And look at this transformation. It doesn't look anything like you. Oh. I know. <laughs> it's just sensational. And there's your mum up there as well. Gave you a message before the show. That must have been hard to handle. She nearly sent me blubbering. Oh, my goodness. I know, before you even start. Hi. <laughs> well, she gave you a message, and there was somebody else who was very keen to have a word with you as well. Oh. Hey, stars in their eyes, it's Anastasia, here to congratulate Justine. The awesome performance she did. You really had me fooled. I almost looked at you like two or three times, wondering if you really were me. <laughs> Good job, girlfriend. Good luck. Good luck to everybody on that show. You see, girlfriend, it's an awesome performance. Well, honey. We had it. <laughs> Find a pen and make a note of this number and call 090119 if you think Anastasia's name should join the Hall of Fame. It's 10p to call and a little more if you're using a mobile. But as always, the lines won't open till we've seen all ten. Ladies and gentlemen, Justine Riddick as Anastasia. <laughs> nine weeks and you'll have no trouble remembering our next voice. It belongs to a web designer from Merseyside and by his own admission it was the most terrifying thing he'd ever done. That night Mike Powell was a quivering wreck and now he's got to do it all again live. Reliving that magical moment from the safety of his local club here's star finalist number two. Five minutes to go. So let's look and learn a little more from Mike Powell. I thought everyone else was a lot better. I was convinced that somebody else was going to win. And the winner is Scott Walker! <laughs> and that's probably why I didn't have any speech prepared. I'm speechless, to be honest. <laughs> You're always speechless. That's your job. <sighs> That was amazing. I tried to put the live final in the back of my mind purely because I know what to expect and how nerve-wracking it actually is. I hope that you know, the show that I do for the live final is just as good as the one was tonight. Even if I don't win, I just hope that people enjoy it just as much. Amazing. Such an experience. Not one of us knew he could sing until he turned out. I'm on stars in your eyes. And I got a text message. I'm a taxi driver. And I got a text message one night. And a little message come up. I won. You seen what happened tonight. And you seen the reaction from all the people, his friends and his family. The reaction was absolutely brilliant. I knew it was good, but I never realised he was this good. And I'm just, I'm just made up. And, and it's, he really deserves it. I'm happy now. <laughs> Just time for another message of support closer to home from Mike's girlfriend, Jackie. I just wanted to say, um, don't let the nerves get the better of you. I know they didn't have the heat, so don't let them tonight. You'll be fantastic. You're already a star in my eye. Um, and I'll see you when you finish. And we'll see him as he starts tonight. Singing live once again, Mike Powell is Scott Walker! <laughs> Shine anymore. The moon ain't gonna rise. 
the reasons that I enjoy doing this show so much because this man has, has had a personality change since you came on your heat haven't you uh, yes, I know. Have, yeah. you got more confidence as <laughs> yeah, well yeah. about yourself and in life yeah. and you deserve to because that's a classic song and you've got a classic voice to sing it and I know a man who knows that you have that because the man called Bob Gaudio and he wrote the sun ain't gonna shine anymore and he wanted to send this to you hey Mike this is Bob Gaudio you know the guy that wrote that song you've been singing? Just wanted to congratulate you on making it to the final ten, and thank you for doing it with my song. Good luck, mate. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah. You deserve it. It's a fabulous voice and a fabulous rendition. The thank number you, you need is 09011980002 to give Scott Walker the championship. Still eight more candidates to see, so keep the phone in its cradle, then the cradle will rock when we've heard all ten. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Powell as Scott Walker. Well done. Completely, utterly, and fabulously live on ITV1. As we do it, you see it. And being live, we get showbiz news as it breaks. And we've just heard Ulrika's tried to vote, but the battery on her mobile has run out. So that's another Ericsson knackered. Hey, hey go. <laughs> go. Behave yourselves. Before we take a break, let's hear from a girl who knows what it's like to walk through those famous doors. The thinking man's Carol Vorderman. Carol Vorderman. My memory of being Cher on Stars in Their Eyes is that for the first time in my life, I was so nervous, I cried and cried my eyes out. So I wish everyone on tonight's final the very best of luck and hope that your nerves are a lot stronger than mine. <laughs> Beer with a pop star yelling in your face and your feet up, then get well soon, David Beckham. <laughs> Eight weeks back, Charlotte Grimes of Newbury enjoyed her victory as Keris Matthews with a star's party of her own. Charlotte's a theatre marketing assistant, and as you'll see, she has a very theatrical family. We watched her watching herself becoming star finalist number three. My show's on telly tonight, so we're having a big party at my house right in there. <laughs> And it's taken a long time to happen, and I've been waiting for this night for such a long time, but it's just been amazing. This is such a proud night for me. I'm, I'm so excited. I can hardly contain myself. Cheers! Everyone just went mental. And the winner is... Keris Matthews! A 
everyone has been amazing tonight. It's so good to have all my friends here, and everyone's been saying how good it is, and it's just been incredible. I've just been crying. I just went a bit mental for a second, but I'm okay now. Absolutely sublimine perb. I'm just totally impressed. Absolutely stunning performance. I thought Charlotte was brilliant, even by Zimbabwean standards. I am so proud. I can't believe it. I was on telly. Did you see that? <laughs> And she's about to get back on the box, but before Charlotte sings, come in, Mummy Grimes. Hi, Charlotte, Mum here. You've come a long way since those first recordings, and we're so very, very proud of you. Good luck, and we'll see you after the show, love. From those first recordings to tonight, singing live once again, Charlotte Grimes is Keris Matthews! <laughs> We love you, and we love Keris as well. How much do we love Keris? We love Keris. Yeah, and she's a very big fan of your performance as well, <laughs> isn't she? She rang you at work, didn't she? She did, yeah. <laughs> what did she say? She phoned me last week. <laughs> oh, my God, it was, it was such a shock. She was just like, oh, I, I thought you were really good. My friend played it to me over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Why weren't you watching? Have you got no video, love? What's the matter with you? <laughs> Actually, she didn't want to leave it there. She sent this message for you as well. Hiya, Charlotte. <laughs> I was so pleased when I heard that you had done Mulder and Scully. That song brought great luck to me, and I hope that it is just as lucky for you tonight. So have a great night, Charlotte, and enjoy it. Love, Keris. Oh. Yeah, thank you, Charlotte. Well done. I hope it's lucky thank for you, you. Dave. 
been looking for. <laughs> when the lines open, call 09-011-9800-03 to make Keris Matthews a champion. Your votes hold the keys to those doors. It's Tempia time, a little more from the mobile, and every call counts, ladies and gentlemen. Charlotte Grimes as Keris Matthews. <laughs> This time, seven weeks ago, if you were dressed as Luther Van Dross, you were either A, Luther Van Dross, <laughs> B, our next finalist, Cecil Foster, or C, very, very confused. <laughs> Cecil's an art tutor from Birmingham, and we followed him home to Hansworth to see what the family made of a great star guest who became great star finalist number four. Well, here we are at my sister's flat. Family's in there, the kids are in there, so, uh, come on, follow me. All right, kids, you all right? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. What for? <laughs> when you was going to be on Sides and New Rose, was you excited or was you um, scared? It was a mixture of both because I've never experienced it before, so I didn't know what to, what to expect. Are you glad you've done it now? Oh, yeah, definitely. Cecil Foster! <laughs> Seeing their expression and watching me on TV was quite um, refreshing, you know. Finally, it happened, and I'm really glad. I'm pleased. Tonight, singing live, Cecil Foster, Luther and Josh. When I saw the outfit they were going to give me, um, I wanted to nick it, but, uh, you know, it was really nice. Um, they even told me that um, I'm the most expensive one ever to come on Stars in Her Eyes, so um, it's good, really good. And the winner is... Luther Van Dross! When I actually heard my name, um, I was really surprised, really surprised. I'm Angela, I'm Cecil's sister. And he always said when he was younger that he's going to go and start in your eyes, and we always say, yeah, yeah, right. It's just overwhelming. It was really nice. I'm pleased. And I know that if my mum was alive, um, she would be very proud, as my dad is. I always cross my finger, and knowing that some days to come, <laughs> I'm going to be very, very proud of you. I think my dad was fabulous. <laughs> you guys ready to see Dad in the finals? Yeah! We're all ready, but first, some final surprise support from Cecil's brother, Gladstone. You know, wishing you all the best, sisters, dad. You know, if mum was here, you know what she'd be saying. She'd go on, son. Just do your best. You know we're all here rooting for you, all right? God bless. The family are behind him. The doors are in front as tonight, singing live once again, Cecil Foster is Luther Van Dross. Just to get me started I called 
To those because we couldn't get hold of anything from Luther Vandross because apparently he's not been well, although we did hear that he was really, really chuffed about your performance on this show. And what artist wouldn't be? I mean, the boost you'll be giving to his career after a performance <laughs> like that. Watch those CDs go, Luther! <laughs> and this is, you do look fantastic. You've got the voice, you've got the style, and you love that suit, don't you? Yeah. You know, it's worth 2,000 quid, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? You can have it. Well, nobody else is going to be as good as that, are they? <laughs> Just one thing. Don't wear it when you're going shopping, all right? <laughs> Damn, I have my eyes on that myself as well. <laughs> the number you need to call is 09011980004. If you can never have too much of Luther Van Dross, nice. But remember... The lines won't open till all ten finalists have sung, ladies and gentlemen. Cecil Foster as Luther Vandross. Thank you, sir. Well done. Okay, back, back, back. Six weeks in time and thirty years in music. Now we're off to a pub in Watford where Hertfordshire factory worker Kevin Keeler watched himself become a winner and David Cassidy made another massive British comeback as star finalist number five. We watched the show in the Beaver, my old local in Watford. Um, 50 people turned up and even my nan as well. So it's been pretty good so far. That's my nan. Mostly don't call me nanny, calls me gorgeous. Yeah. It's quite weird watching myself back on TV because I've obviously never seen myself before, but to think that I've been on a show that I've watched for so many years and I'm actually through to the live final is just unbelievable for me. And the winner is David Cassidy! The part where I won, when Matthew called my name out, it was a complete blur because I've never been experienced complete shock before and somehow I held the tears back as well. The lump in my throat was like a rugby ball. But I swallowed it and carried on somehow. I think he was brilliant tonight. But I'm Kevin's mum, and it was just amazing seeing him on TV tonight. I can't believe how pretty he looked. For the live final, I'd say I'm a lot more confident than I was for the show because I wasn't as experienced as I am now. So I'm not, not, as, not as scared, but... I'm so looking forward to it. Like, I feel like I did when I was eight years old, looking forward to Christmas. I was just so excited. And here's a message from someone who was there but couldn't be here. Kevin's nan. Hi, Kevin. You never expected to get this far, did you? I know you've got your mum and family up there with you in Manchester, but just remember you've got your nan down here in Stevenage, and I'm rooting for you. And if you've got a dream boy, go for it. Good luck. Making the dream a reality tonight, singing live once again, Kevin Keeler is David Cassidy! I'm 
sleeping and right in the middle of a good dream. Yeah, all at once I wake up from something that keeps knocking at my brain. Before I go insane, I hold my pillow to my head and spring up in my bed, screaming out the words I dread. I think I love you. This morning I woke up with this feeling I didn't know how to deal with And so I just decided to myself I'd hide it to myself And never talk about it And did not go and shout it When you walked into the room I think I love you I think I love you Oh, I think I love you So what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of I don't know what it's all about I got so much to think about Hey, I think I love you So what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of A love there is no cure for Oh, I think I love you Isn't that what life is made of? Though it worries me to say That I never felt this way to worry, I only want to make you happy, but if you say, hey, go away, I will, but I think better still, I better stay around and love you, do you think I have a case, let me ask you to your face, do you think you love me, oh, I think I love you, 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 oh, I think Kevin, I've got to tell you, I've got to tell this story all right. David Cassidy, mm -hmm. David Cassidy, I saw at the other end of the corridor in Granada just recently, and as he was coming down the corridor, I went, David, how brilliant to see you. You don't know me, do you? <laughs> well, I do a show called Stars in the Rise, and uh, we've got a David Cassidy on, and he's really, really good. And he said, I know, I've seen him. He said, and he was so impressed that he wanted to send you this message. Well, Kevin, I just saw I Think I Love You, and I was very, very impressed, I have to tell you, particularly with a wig. I want that wig when you're done. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, and he looks like he could do with it as well. David Cassidy. Have you... Do you remember the original David Cassidy? No. You weren't born when he was around, were you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the reminder, mate. Thank Great. <laughs> If David Cassidy is your number one, then call 9 5 It's all up to you to make him a Stars in the Rise champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Keeler as David Cassidy. Yeah. Thank you. who began their careers in bands before going solo. Robbie Williams and Heather Small will be here to give us two great anthems from the 90s. Before then, a girl who knows a thing or two about great musicians. She married one. Fat boy Slim's other half, tall girl thin, Zoe Ball. Ah, oh, the stars in their eyes final. Always a favourite in our house. We've got the pizzas in, the phone at the ready, the tissues for when the winner wins. We'll be watching. Good luck, all of you. And I'm happy. <laughs> So, Ulrich's advice to get through a live show is deep breaths, strong drinks, and imagining the studio audience naked. I've just done that. I've just seen my mum and dad. <laughs> I'm do that. 
Welcome back to Live Grand Final 2002, and let's get serious. Look, every year I ask you not to call until you've seen all ten finalists. Ninety-nine percent of you understand that. The other one percent can't contain themselves. So far, 3,500 are suffering from premature selection. <laughs> So please remember, casting an important vote without weighing up all the options only makes you look stupid. Or French. <clears throat> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Five weeks ago, Carnarvon student Gary Bailey took on Robbie Williams' voice and won. That night, his local holiday camp became party central as friends and family watched him sing when he's winning. A star finalist, number six. As you can see, there's over 250 people in here and they're all dying to see the show. The bar's full. I can't describe how I'm feeling at the moment, so I'm just really looking forward to it. Case of local boy doing good for Gary Bailey. Watching myself on telly tonight was simply fantastic because I could share it with all my friends, all my family, and, you know, it's an experience I don't think I'll ever match, so... Just really enjoyed it. And the winner is Robbie Williams! When I heard Matthew say that I'd won, I just couldn't believe it. Because the first letter out of his mouth was R Robbie, and I thought it was gonna be T Tom Jones, so you know it's a major shock. But good one. I know Gary since he was little and I was very, very proud of him tonight and he got tears in my eyes. Go for it, Gary. I'm proud of you. Love you. We're really proud of you, Gary. Cheers, Cheers mate. Do we know someone famous? <laughs> Before he takes the spotlight again, here's a good luck wish from Gary's mum, Anne. There are ten winners out there tonight, and to me, certainly, you're the biggest winner of all. So just relax, go out there and enjoy every minute of it. Matthew, that means good luck in Welsh. Pub look then, as tonight, singing live once again, Gary Bailey is Robbie Williams! <laughs> She won't forsake me. 
enjoying yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so you should. You wanted to enjoy every moment of this, didn't yes, you? Definitely. Did you slow time down enough? In the end. <laughs> you did? Yeah. yeah, you've had a lot of support getting here, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, no, a great good deal. Friends, good yes, more than good friends. I mean, there, are, there is some support from people that actually saved your life. In fact, they wanted to have a word to you from Walton Neurological Centre. Hi, Gary. Remember us? Remember this? I believe you haven't had much of it since you left us. But seriously, Gary, you were absolutely delighted you've done so well in the last two years. And we'll all be watching tonight, so have a great night. Lovely. <laughs> What's the thing with the mashed potatoes? Horrible. <laughs> Horrible? Have you not yeah. had it since? No. I don't think you'll need to have it again. <laughs> that was a wonderful performance tonight. Congratulations. If you want to see Gary and Robbie on stage at the same time again, call 09019800006. Only your votes can bring him back to entertain you as champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Bailey as Robbie Williams. <laughs> Recruitment consultant Claudette Nelson took this stage by storm with the big voice and unfeasibly big hair of Heather Small. The night she won, our cameras went to the West Midlands to catch every moment of her TV triumph. And there was plenty to celebrate for star finalist number seven. Well, this is a swan in Smethwick. Um, I'm going to be watching my show here tonight with my friends and family. I'm expecting about 80 plus people, so hopefully it's going to be a good night. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you look, you look gorgeous. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, outstanding. Yep, this is a coach. They're finally arrived. <laughs> See, they're all fixing themselves up now because the camera's here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad, and uh, he supported me all the way through. And I'm very, very proud of my daughter. <laughs> and I love you both. <laughs> I had the, the worst pain in my life in my stomach, and when he announced that I was winning, it was complete and utter shock. And the winner is... Heather Small! The reaction from friends and family have been really excited, been looking really forward to watching the show, and uh, now they've sat and watched it, uh, they're over the moon, they're ecstatic. But I've had a lot of support from, from family and friends as well. Well, Claudette is a cousin of mine, and she was absolutely brilliant. She was heavy, man, she was good. I think she was the best one there. Give her a round of applause, everybody, cos that's my cousin you're talking about. The finals, I am so nervous. To get as far as what I've done is absolutely brilliant. I just wish everybody really good luck for the finals. Here's a good luck message just for her from Sister Sandra. I know you're going to make it tonight. You're terrific. You've always wanted to do this, and tonight's your night, and this is from all the family. We all love you. She's already a hero in their eyes, so tonight, singing live once again, Claudette Nelson is Heather Small!
How are you? <laughs> You've had your nerves as well, haven't you? You would never know it, though. No. <laughs> well, you know, the real Heather Small lives in Manchester. She lives not far from here. And, uh, of course, she's very busy at the moment, what with the Commonwealth Games coming up uh, in Manchester. We'll all be there, won't we? Oh, yes, I think so. I think she's training for the 100 metres at the moment. But <laughs> she just found time to send you this. It's uh, one of her gold discs, and it says, Good luck with love from Heather. And she's thrilled and delighted, and so she should be. Because... <laughs> you're so <thankful>. so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I love you. You do make me laugh. <laughs> You can give Heather Small another night in heaven by calling 09011-980007. To make it a small victory, calls cost 10p and a little more if you're on the mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, Claudette Nelson as Heather Small. <laughs> the tightest live final yet, even tighter than Simon Cowell's tightest corset. <laughs> and he calls it a belt, but worn up there, it's technically a corset. In fact, it's technically a choker. You wish, Pete Waterman. The stars are glued to stars, and here's two more. TV nightmares Steve Pink and stars veteran Trisha Goddard. Tonight, Matthew, I don't know who I'm going to vote for. Good luck. I remember when I was doing Do You Know the Way to San Jose? I was absolutely terrified, but I know you'll be fabulous, so go out there and knock them dead. Yes, thank you very much, SMTV and Des Lynham. Des, please, camp this show. I was only saying to our head of sequence and plumage this morning, <laughs> this is about great voices and a live stage. So welcome back to the world's greatest gig, the Stars on the Rise Live Grand Final 2002. Now, three weeks ago, paint sprayer Dave O'Toole donned the Union Jack guitar and hooded top as Noel Gallagher. The eyebrows were all his own. It's back home to Warrington to check out friends and family, checking out star finalist number eight. I'll come down to the gas social tonight to watch me on Stars on the Rise. Come down here tonight because everybody who has a do, they all come down to the gas social and, and we all love it here. It's great. Here's Dave O'Toole. <laughs> strange, so strange to see like yourself on TV. It's just such an awesome experience. I oh, was so pleased you cut his hair. It was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Noel Gallagher. As soon as Matthew said, Noel Gallagher, everyone else was like patting me on the back and like saying, you know, go on, go, go for your walk down the corridor. I always remember, as I walked through, 
you can see the TV screens and you can see like what your family's doing. And I was just like pitching my mum down and my dad's like jumping, like nearly touching the roof, like, hey, get up there. So proud. You know, just fantastic. Good luck to the lad. I hope he never looks back in anger. <laughs> and he's going to be a star. Oh, it's amazing. Just amazing. Just couldn't believe it was my son. It was absolutely great because I didn't know he could sing. You know, when I, I was got smack, really. I'm getting married to Louise in August and. Um, I don't know which one's frightens me the most, the life final or money, you know. <laughs> He's got the next three minutes of his life on this stage, but here's the girl he'll spend the rest of it with, Dave's fiance, Louise. Good luck tonight, Dave. I know you'll be brilliant and we'll all be rooting for you, so give it your best shot. Will number one in the charts be number one this evening? Tonight, singing live once again, Dave O'Toole is Noel Gallagher! <laughs> Congratulations. That was a wonderful performance, and really you should be able to keep that guitar, but you can't. However, you can keep this one that Noel has sent himself. Yeah. And which is written to David. Good luck on the front, and he hopes that you'll be able to write your own songs with your own group, and he hopes it bring, brings you as much luck as it's brought to him. On the back it says, Peace, love, and bananas. <laughs> Thank you very much, Noel. We congratulate you on your number one this week. Marvellous. And congratulations to you, not only on your performance, but when you get married. 
17th of August. 17th of August. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing to you, is it? <laughs> Congratulations, you are a good bloke. Pens at the ready. This is the number you need. 09011980008. If you want to make Noel happy and Liam furious. It's already been a good week for Oasis, and you could make it even better. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave O'Toole as Noel Gallagher. <laughs> To classic rock, Elvis is back in the building. Two weeks ago, plant operator Stuart Duff slipped into a leather cat suit, curled his top lip, and crooned all the way here. That night, it was cheeseburgers and thank you very much. Back in five, as the king was crowned star finalist number nine. Hi, Hi Sandy. <laughs> Tonight's the night I'm on Stars in the Rise, and I have a few friends and family around to watch it with me. It was uh, a bit strange watching myself on the TV. It was actually better than I thought it was going to be. Stuart Duff! <laughs> so that was quite nice, actually. I'm going to watch it again and again and again, because I don't believe I've actually done the thing. When Matthew said the letter E on Elvis, I knew it was me, but I still couldn't believe that I had won. And the winner is... Elvis Presley! I walked back through the doors after I'd won, and I looked up through the audience and I noticed Alison was crying. Um, and it did bring a tear, actually, to my eye. It was just shocking, I just burst into tears. <laughs> Quite emotional. I just thought it would be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. My mum would have been proud of him. I think now that I've done it, I'm looking forward to going back doing, doing the final. I think I could relax a little bit more. I mean, it's, for years, I've, I've wanted to do something like this, and this is right in, at the deep end. So you can't really go any further than this. So I am actually looking forward to going down and doing the final and then taking it the full way. Before he takes that final step, a message from the woman who put him behind the doors, Stuart's wife, Alison. Stuart, I sent in that tape because I knew that you could do it. Now, all you've got to do is go out there and do it one more time and go in your cell and we're all rooting for you. She sent in the tape. He's bringing home the performance as tonight, singing live once again, Stuart Duff is Elvis Presley! Tell me, dear, are you lonesome? 
Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> that is an astounding performance because this is one of the shyest men I have ever met. The whole experience has been like from the outside looking in for you. Yeah, isn't it? Terrible, terrible. Well, I'm not, <laughs> no, not terrible. Great for us, yeah, though. And I tell yeah. you, if you're if you're coming along with uh, somebody like Elvis, and tragically Elvis himself couldn't be here tonight. <laughs> but the fans will soon tell you if you can't cut it. So I have a message for you from a man called Todd Slaughter, who's the chairman of the world's biggest Elvis fan club. And here he is. Hi, Stuart. My name's Todd Slaughter. I'm the boss of the world's largest Elvis Presley fan club. You know, this year is a very special year for Elvis fans. It's 25 years since Elvis died. And even in a couple of weeks, there's going to be a new single out. So congratulations. You've had a wonderful evening. Thank you for playing a marvellous tribute to the king. When the lines open, call 09011980009 if you want the king to take the throne and reign supreme as live grand final champion for 2002. Ladies and gentlemen, Stuart Duff as Elvis Presley. <laughs> Just one more break and one more star finalist before we let you loose on the lines to choose your champion for 2002. Before then, we're hopping over the Channel 4, Channel 4, and some very good advice from T4's June and Vernon. So come on, June, it's the competition that everyone talks about. Who are you going to vote for in this year's Stars in the Rise final? Well, you know what, Vernon? Yep. It's hard, but I think... Yep. I'm going to vote for a man in a dodgy waistcoat. Oh, well, there's a few out there, June. Who are you going to vote for? Tonight, Vernon, I'm going to vote for Matthew Kelly. Oh, well done, well <laughs> done. I think everyone vote for Matthew Kelly. Matthew, thank you very much, and good luck to everyone in the final yeah. from everyone here at T4. Welcome back to the fifth and final part of the Stars on the Rise Live Grand Final. Just seven days ago, our final finalist booked her place here with a performance that really rocked. That night, she watched herself rock out back home in County Cork. The word of the evening was brilliant. When beauty therapist Rebecca O'Connor was Tina Turner and became star finalist number ten. Hi, I'm here at the Titanic Bar in Cove. I'm just waiting for my show to go out. I'm really looking forward to it. I've got about 500 people, so it should be a good night. So come with me. I don't care what they say. I'm not about to pay nobody's way. Cause it's all about the dog. On the night, um, there was just hundreds of people there, and it was fantastic. Um, everyone was just so delighted, you know. It was just brilliant. Those Irish eyes and smiling are from Rebecca O'Connor. <laughs> Everybody knows everyone anyway, so they're just so delighted, they're just they're thrilled, it's just, it's just brilliant, it's like a dream come true, it's fabulous. Beauty audience, cast your votes now. When I heard Matthew, you know, shouting my name, I saying that I was the winner, I actually couldn't believe it. I was thrilled, it was, it was brilliant. And the winner is Tina Turner! My friends and family have been just so proud and my, my workmates and everything, they've just been fantastic, you know, they've been there all the time for me. <laughs> We're so proud of her and the people of Cove are very, very proud of her and her parents are very proud of her. Good luck, mate. Whether she wins it or not, she's a winner. Fantastic. She is a darling to Ireland. Brilliant. Brilliant. Simply the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope nothing goes wrong. Oh, my God, it's brilliant. Brilliant. 
Just time for our final surprise message. Mr. and Mrs. O'Connor, the screen is yours. Rebecca, this is your golden opportunity, just what you've wanted all your life. Go for it. Enjoy it. I know we all will as tonight, singing live once again, Rebecca O'Connor is Tina Turner! <laughs> since you've been giving your Tina Turner, since you were how old? Oh, seven. Seven? <laughs> I think you've just about perfected it oh. now, probably. Do you know, there's a, we found a man who had an, a, a big influence on your singing career, because you were in a band years ago. And yeah. This is a man that you haven't seen for years and years and years, and we managed to track him down. He's called Brendan Manning. Come over here, oh. and he's got a little message for you. Hi, Rebecca. You were probably expecting Tina Turner. But you had to make do with your old band, the Manning Brothers, instead. When you sang with us, we knew even then that you had stars in your eyes. As you know, Tina Turner never tore Cork, but it didn't really matter because we had you. Rebecca, to us, you were, and always will be, simply, simply the best. best. Oh. You see? How <laughs> does Tina Turner when you have the real thing? Mm. The final finalist, and this is the final number, call 090198010 if you think Tina's performance was the best. We've only moments to go till the lines open, so hang on in there. Ladies and gentlemen, Rebecca O'Connor as Tina Turner. <laughs> Ten stars, ten stars.
star performances. But there can only be one champion. We're moments away from putting their fates in your hands. Perhaps you've already made up your mind. But all that could change with a reminder from the voice of the doors, Andrew Retain. Andrew. Thank you very much, Matthew. First through those brand new doors, Liverpool singer Justine Riddick was shady soul diva Anastasia. And you can vote for Anastasia on 090-11-9800-01. And it's a good night for the Mersey. Mike Powell, a web designer from Prince's Park, put the reclusive crooner Scott Walker back into the spotlight. If you want to put him back through the doors as tonight's winner, vote on this number, 090-11-9800-02. Theatre assistant Charlotte Grimes of Newbury became a girl voted Best Lungs of 1998, Keris Matthews. And you can give her a similar accolade in 2002 by calling 090-11-9800-03. Cecil Foster, special needs tutor from Birmingham, has a smooth soul style of Luther Vandross. If Luther is your champion for 2002, then get dialing 090-119-8004. If postman Kevin Keeler of Hamill Hempstead was your first class male as the original TV partridge, David Cassidy, then you can place a vote for him by dialing 090-119-8005. I think I love you. Gary Bailey spends his days as a full-time student in Carnarvon. Tonight, he's a part-time Robbie Williams. If angels put you in heaven, then pick up the phone and call 090-11-9800-06. Another distinctive voice, another distinguished performance. Recruitment consultant Claudette Nelson of Smethwick became Heather Small. Vote for Heather on 090-11-9800-07. David O'Toole, a car paint sprayer from Warrington, gave us our first Noel Gallagher to walk through those famous doors. He's number one in the charts, but will he be number one tonight? Make it happen by calling 090-11-9800-08. The King is dead, long live the King. Stuart Duff, a plant operator from Fife, gave Elvis Presley another comeback special. And you can give Elvis the crown on this number, 090-11-9800-09. And finally, Rebecca O'Connor, a beauty therapist from County Cork in Ireland, got a makeover of her own as she became Tina Turner. If Tina gets your vote, make it count by calling 090-11-980010. Matthew, back to you. Thank you very much, Andrew. This is it. Months of rehearsing the voices, weeks of recording the series, and now minutes of reliving the experience live. It's all down to you. Only you can make one of our ten the 2002 champions. So are you ready? Are you steady? Then go, because the lines are open now. And we'll be back at 9.45, so you have one whole hour to register your vote. Don't forget, it's about the best sound-alike, not the best look-alike. And if you can't get through at first, do keep trying, won't you? We'll be back at 9.45 with the results, but until then, there'll be TV talent show stars. But do vote during that time, because remember, there's no contract at the end of this. There's no prize. There's no trophy. There's no nothing. It's just about these people here, my babies! <laughs> Did you ever see people more deserving of votes? And your votes are just to say thank you. Enjoy yourselves. Cheers! Imagine when... of the Stars of the Rise Live Grand Finals 2002. And before we discover the identity of this year's champion, let me tell you, this show isn't about the orchestra, the lights, the dancers, costume, makeup, or even those famous doors. It's about putting amazing talent into the spotlight. Mine. And, <laughs> you know, the great thing about me is I don't need music. I don't. Leave it, leave it. I don't need cameras. I don't, I don't need flashy lights. I don't... All right, all right, I do! <laughs> it was worth a try, wasn't it? It's not about me, it's about our star finalists. This is the closest live final yet. I can tell you now that the lead has changed three times in the last hour. That means every single vote counts, so keep on calling. There's still time to vote, so who's your favourite favourite? Here with a reminder, the voice of the doors, Andrew Britain. Andrew. Thank you, Matthew. First, Justine Ribbett was Anastasia. Vote for her on 090 11 9800 01. 
090198002 is the number to call for Mike Powell as Scott Walker. Charlotte Grimes became Karis Matthews. You can make her a champion on 090198003. 090-1198004 places a vote for Cecil Foster as Luther Vandross. Kevin Keeler was David Cassidy. Vote for him on 090-1198005. Gary Bailey walked through the doors as Robbie Williams. Cast a vote for Robbie on 090-1198006. Then Claudette Nelson became Heather Small. Vote for her on 090-1198007. O nine O double one nine eight double O eight is the number to call if your champion is David O'Toole as Noel Gallagher. Stuart Duff gave us Elvis Presley. You can give Elvis the crown on O nine O double one nine eight double O O nine. And finally, Rebecca O'Connor was Tina Turner. If Tina gets your vote, make it count by calling O nine O double one nine eight double O ten. Matthew. Thank you very much, Andrew. If you haven't been able to get through, keep on trying. I've just been told that the lead has changed again. They really do deserve your support, and every vote still counts. There are only 13 people in the world who know what it's like to be a Stars and the Rise champion. And last year, Emma Wilkinson joined that elite club as Dusty Springfield. What happened after that incredible night? Let's find out from the girl who's about to hand over that crown to Lucky 14. Let's see if Dusty can do it. Dusty Springfield scored a grand total of... Two hundred and four thousand nine hundred and seventy, which means the Stars and the Rise Rise Rose final champion 2001 is Dusty Springfield. Immediately after the final, I was obviously really shocked um, and surprised, and um, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I'd been a student, I'd worked, but I'm spending an awful lot of time in London, so things are kind of moving on and up. Doing Stars in Their Eyes gave me a lot more confidence and it made me kind of think, well, if I've achieved this thing, what else can I achieve? And I didn't dream that now I'd be working towards something in music and hopefully working in it in the future. Well, at the moment, I've been doing a CD and it's got lots of classic soul covers on it, like Under My Thumb, What You Gonna Do About It? Um, this has been really good for my confidence and I've had the support and backing to kind of, you know, write my own thing, so it's been great. I'm really looking forward to coming back and I'm really looking forward to meeting all the new contestants because, you know, I just want... I know what it's like, so I know how much they enjoy it. Is that all right? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Stars and the Rise 2001, Emma Wilkinson! <laughs> Lovely to see you again, and life's completely changed for you now, hasn't it? Um, yeah, it has at the moment. Yeah. And you're still in touch with uh, your finalists as well that you were on with? Yeah, I've been in touch with them, and um, I've actually got to know the new finalists really I well. Know. And that's what's so great about it, because there is no com competition in the end. No. But you really deserve to be there, and there is a lady who knows how much you deserve to be there. <laughs> Take a look at this. Well, Emma. I saw your award-winning performance last year, uh, well done, and I thought, I thought of Dusty and how tickled she would have been to have seen that. Um, she would probably, though, have been very self-deprecating and said that you were better than her or something like that. That's the kind of person she was. A very difficult voice um, to copy, uh, and you did so well, you came so close to it. Um, I hope you've had a fantastic year. In fact, I'm interested to hear you as you. So that's something to look for in the future, huh? And now I believe you're going to do another performance of Dusty. Well, go, girl, go. Hey, go, girl. She <laughs> wants to hear you. And so do we all as tonight, singing live once again, Emma Wilkinson is Dusty Springfield. <laughs> Thank you. 
In two minutes, one of tonight's ten finalists will become the live grand final champion of 2002. Thank you for all your votes, but now it's the moment ten weeks have been building up to. Put down your phones, rest your weary digits, because the voting lines are now closed. OK, here we go. These are the results of the Stars and the Rise live grand final for 2002. The star finalist, number one, Anastasia. She scored a grand total of... 67,212. A very good start to the evening. Let's see if Scott Walker can do any better than that. He was star finalist number two, and he scored a grand total of 74,445. Very good. He goes into the lead straight away. Star finalist number three was Keris Matthews. Can she beat Scott Walker? She scored a grand total of... 22,364. It's a good score, but it's not enough to beat Scott Walker. Star finalist at number four was Luther Van Dross. Can he beat Scott Walker? He got a grand total of 87,487. That means that Luther is in the lead. But can David Cassidy, as star finalist number five, beat Luther Van Dross? He scored a grand total of 41,740. It's not good enough to beat Luther. Luther still in the lead. Star finalist number six was Robbie Williams. Let's see how he can do against Luther Van Dross. He scored a grand total of 83,302. It's not good enough. To beat Luther, it's a very good score, though. It's just off Luther's final total. Star finalist number seven is Heather Small. Heather Small scored a grand total of... 51,871. He can't... He can't beat Luther Van Dross. Luther Van Dross still in the lead. Star finalist number eight is Noel Gallagher. He scored a grand total of... 
37,338. Luka Vandross still in the lead, but can Elvis Presley stop by Miss Number Nine do it? He scored a grand total of 240,731. That's very definitely in the lead. The star finalist number 10 is Tina Turner. She scored 230,115, which means the stars of the rise. Line grand champion for 2002 is Elvis Presley. Well done, Stuart. Maybe did I manage that? <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage that? Well, you were the favourite favourite, you know, and it was a fantastic score to pull out, especially against Tina Turner yeah. in the end, in those final seconds. <laughs> and the shy man got it, and that's what this show is absolutely all about. You don't have to talk. Shall I talk for you? Yes, please, Matthew. OK, I'll tell you. <laughs> So, thanks to you, Elvis joins our Hall of Fame, and this is the voice you voted for. Tonight, singing live as the live grand final champion of 2002, Stuart Duff is Elvis Presley. Are you lonesome? Sorry, we drifted apart. Does your memory stray to a bright summer day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart? Do the chairs in Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome? Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear. for 10 incredible performances. Thanks to you for picking up the phone and voting. To all the team, and most of all, thanks to Stuart Duff as Elvis Presley. We're back next Saturday at 9 o'clock for a celebrity special. And if you're wondering what it's like behind those doors, you'll find out on Bank Holiday Monday with a documentary about this very show that you've just been watching. Thank you very much, everybody, and good night to you all. Good night. Well done, mate.
waiting if you've got the voice of the star and take your first step to the next series call 0870 600 1020 and you could be singing to become a star's champion from all of us here good night